So Wickfrid, she is commonly seen as a very simple character. Eat meat, steal life and sanity from enemies, and tank hits. But how good is Wickfrid at actually doing that? How do we even know how her kit works? Most of the times people just go into a fight and either die from overestimating Wickfrid's powers, or make it out on the other side, maybe even healthier than when they went in. We are going to look at Wickfrid and show an unnecessarily deep explanation of how her mechanics work. Wigfrid is a battle character, meaning you want to pick fights with her. She starts with 200 HP on base, and she also has a 25% damage reduction. This is the only character in the game that has innate defense right off the bat, meaning that she can live hits that normal 200 HP characters can't. This damage reduction gives Wigfrid an effective health of 267, about 33% more than what's advertised. In addition to giving Wigfrid a higher effective health pull, this damage resistance also makes healing more effective, making her healing be worth 33% more. And now we get to talk about her actual healing. This is probably the most important attribute that defines her as a tank, but how much health can we actually get from enemies as Wigfrid? It's actually pretty simple. The minimum amount of HP Wigfrid can heal a hit is 0.33. Now normally you don't actually see this added on every hit, and that is because any hit that gives less than 1 HP will be held in a storage until Wigfrid gets enough health to provide 1 HP of healing, meaning it takes 4 hits of 0.33 to heal 1.32 HP, decimal included. This storage, however, will degrade over time. It's actually quite slow, so in most standard combat situations, you won't even notice that there's a drain to her healing. While fighting, you may have seen that Wigfrid does get a variable amount of health from fighting enemies. Sometimes she heals every hit, sometimes it takes a few hits to heal 1 HP, other times you're healing 2 HP a hit. So what gives? The way her healing works is governed by this formula here. Base weapon damage divided by enemy health times enemy damage multiplied by 0.25. So if we use this formula with Wigfrid's battle spear against a spider, we will see 42.5 divided by 100 times 20 times 0.25, which comes out to being 2.15 health a hit. And that's what we see shown in game. 2 HP a hit. But we're actually losing HP here. The extra 0.15 that is left just gets removed because Wigfrid can only heal a max of 2 HP per hit, except for when she uses the heartrending ballad. This song adds 0.5 health to Wigfrid's storage for every hit, ignoring the cap. Why I say this is because with the song, you can gain health from creatures that normally won't give you lifesteal. Things like Chester, Walls, and the Lure Plant. While just attacking the air does not provide any healing whatsoever. So that means this healing must be part of Wigfrid's lifesteal, versus it just being healing on attacking. It also increases the cap in which Wigfrid heals, from 2 to 2.5. You can see the difference shown here against spiders. 10 hits with the battle spear to kill 5 spiders. With the song I healed 25 HP, and without the song I only healed 20. But where the song really shines is in boss fights, because even with the strongest weapons, the blow dart, many of the bosses will be giving Wigfrid less than one healing per attack, meaning most of the time players will need to attack multiple times to get the lifesteal effect. With the heartrending ballad, it easily makes Wigfrid gain HP more consistently. Darts have a unique interaction with Wigfrid as well. This is because Wigfrid gets healing for both using the dart and the dart hitting, giving Wigfrid double the health from darts. And if you pay attention, you could actually see it happening in real time. But if you really want to see that Wigfrid gains health on a missed dart, place some walls diagonally from your target and attack it from one side. You will see the darts just get stuck on the wall and the target is not getting hit. However, Wigfrid is still gaining HP. It's pretty unique to her and gives some strange interactions with darts. This doubling also applies to the new Brightshade staff as well. You get healing on using the staff and also the staff hitting, but this item also bounces between between enemies, giving Wigfrid stats for each bounce that was done, meaning you can really regen a lot if you use this against a tight group of enemies. You can really min-max Wigfrid if you choose. Since sanity and health are based off of the same formula, you can use certain weapons with certain enemies in order to gain more stats from them. Like, it's actually better to use a standard spear against spiders if you're going for collecting stats. Your battle spear will give you 4 HP and a standard spear will give you 5.1 
but is that really worth it though? You only get about half an HP or one more depending on the creature you're fighting, so I would say just go with the highest damage. But with that, that's kind of just all that Wigfred really is. Let me know if there's any Wigfred tricks I have missed in the comments below. I certainly learned a lot on how her vampirism is structured, and I hope you did too. Till next time, this has been Terra, and take care.